Each year on the second Sunday of November, we take the time to celebrate our church's illustrious history and the founders who started it all. This year, in addition to sharing our church's history, we want to highlight one of our founders, Dr. Joseph Edison Walker. Joseph Edison Walker's story began in 1880 when he was born to sharecroppers George and Patsy Walker in Tillman, Mississippi. His early life was steeped in simplicity, but his parents instilled in him the importance of education and the value of hard work. With their unwavering support, Joseph attended local schools and his thirst for knowledge grew stronger. His parents' encouragement led him to pursue further education. In 1903, he proudly graduated from Alcorn College in Lorman, Mississippi, marking his first significant achievement. But Joseph was far from finished with his journey of self-improvement. Determined to make a greater impact on the world, he pursued a medical degree at Meharry Medical College in Nashville, Tennessee. There, he honed in his skills and knowledge driven by a desire to heal and serve his community. Upon completing his medical studies, Joseph returned to Mississippi and set up his medical practice in Indianola, where he provided vital medical care to those in need from 1906 until 1919. In 1906, Joseph found love when he married Leela O'Neill, and together they embarked on a journey that would become a testament to the strength of their bond. They were blessed with two children, Jonetta Elmo Walker Kelso and Antonio Maceo Walker, and as a family, they nurtured a love that would withstand the test of time. Joseph Walker's life took a significant turn when he crossed paths with other educated Black men in the Mississippi Delta. United by a common vision, they explored opportunities to empower their people through business ventures. In 1912, Dr. Walker was chosen as a president of the Delta Penny Savings Bank, a move that marked a significant step towards economic empowerment for African Americans. Five years later, in 1917, he was elected as the president of the Mississippi Life Insurance Company, solidifying his presence in the financial sector. In 1920, following the relocation of the Mississippi Life Insurance Company to Memphis, Tennessee, Joseph Walker and his family made the move as well. In Memphis, he, along with A.W. Willis and Dr. J.T. Wilson, founded the Universal Life Insurance Company. Under Dr. Walker's leadership, the company blossomed into one of the largest Black-owned insurance firms in the nation. His dedication to his community knew no bounds. He financed and built the Walker Home subdivision in South Memphis, providing homes and hope to families in need. In 1926, he played a vital role in organizing the Memphis Negro Chamber of Commerce, a crucial step in supporting Black-owned businesses. That same year, he was elected president of the National Negro Insurance Association, further cementing his reputation as a leader in the business world. In 1939, Dr. Walker was elected as the president of the National Negro Business League, continuing to foster opportunities for Black businessmen and women. 1946, Dr. Walker and his son, A. Maceo Walker, who held a master's degree in business, joined forces to establish Tri-State Bank and Trust Company, later known as Tri-State Bank of Memphis. Their vision was to provide opportunities for African Americans to access loans for both business development and personal growth, countering the discrimination they faced at white-owned banks in a segregated society. Despite his numerous achievements, Dr. Joseph Edison Walker's remarkable journey ended tragically on July 28, 1958. Dr. Walker's death sent shockwaves through the community and his funeral was attended by an estimated 35,000 individuals who came to pay their respects to such a remarkable leader. Dr. Joseph Edison Walker's legacy was deeply intertwined with the Mississippi Boulevard Christian Church. Founded in 1921, under his guidance, the church was established by a dedicated group of individuals 
including the Walker family and their children, Jonetta and A. Maceo Walker, Ernest E. Bright, Amos Keyes, Dr. W. H. Luster, Mark W. Bonner, M. H. Wynn, Brother Smider, and Miss Roxy Crawford. In December of 1921, Elder Blair Theodore Hunt, a prominent educator, civic leader, and clergyman, assumed the role of senior pastor. Under his leadership, the congregation flourished with the membership growing to approximately 800 participants. The church evolved over the years, and in 1938, the original building underwent extensive renovations, transforming into a brick structure complete with a sanctuary, choir stand, pulpit, choir room, baptistry, and pastor study. Even with these additions, the church's membership quickly outgrew its space. By 1958, the congregation witnessed the construction of a brand new air-conditioned sanctuary. It was a symbol of progress and comfort standing as the first air-conditioned sanctuary built by a Black congregation in the state of Tennessee. Elder Blair T. Hunt, who had served the church for an astonishing 52 years, retired in 1973 and assuming the title of Pastor Emeritus. Following his tenure, Elder Lee Edward took on the role of senior pastor until June 1978 and was succeeded by Elder Victor Brooks, who served as interim pastor. In June 1979, Alvin O'Neill Jackson answered the call to be the new pastor. His charismatic and caring leadership marked an era of visionary growth. However, this phase was punctuated by a devastating fire in October 1979, which completely destroyed the educational building and caused extensive damage to the sanctuary. On August 26, 1984, Mississippi Boulevard Christian Church undertook a monumental relocation, moving from the inner city to the Whitehaven community at 250 East Rains Road. As the congregation continued to thrive, it became evident that two Sunday worship services were required to accommodate the growing membership. The church building itself was no longer adequate and parking issues arose. The visionary leadership of Pastor Jackson combined with the business acumen of key lay members, led to the congregation's next significant move. On October 24, 1992, Mississippi Boulevard relocated to 70 North Bellevue, returning to the inner city and initiating a new phase of their journey. This period also witnessed the church's increased efforts in ministering to the greater Memphis area. Notably, 1997 marked the end of an era as Alvin O'Neill Jackson, who had led the congregation as a caring, charismatic, and visionary senior pastor, left to serve in the nation's capital. After a thorough search, Dr. Frank Anthony Thomas was called to serve as senior pastor in 1999. Continuing its tradition of church planting, the Boulevard played a pivotal role in establishing the New Direction Church in 2001. With some 60 families from the Boulevard forming the core group, this church was launched in the Hickory Hill area with Dr. Stacy L. Spencer serving as pastor developer. Under Pastor Thomas's visionary leadership, a second location was established in the eastern part of Shelby County in 2009. In September, what was initially known as the Boulevard East became a reality holding services at the Clark Opera Memphis Center and Southwind High School before finding a permanent home on East Shelby Drive. On Sunday, July 3, 2012, after 13 years of serving as senior pastor, Dr. Frank Anthony Thomas announced his retirement. During this time of transition, Reverend A. Denise Bell served as interim senior pastor. In March 2013, the church welcomed Dr. J. Lawrence Turner as senior pastor. Pastor Turner, a native of Nashville, Tennessee, returned to his home state from the Community Baptist Church located in New Haven, Connecticut. Under Pastor Turner's leadership, the Boulevard East found a permanent home at 8220 East Shelby Drive in 2015, joining the Midtown location to become the Southwind Campus. This marked a new chapter in the Boulevard's growth and membership 
and its deepened commitment to discipleship. Pastor Turner's leadership has rekindled the Boulevard's dedication to social justice, focusing on education among the youth, providing nourishment, healing, and housing to the underserved, and helping marginalized individuals become viable members of the community. Additionally, Pastor Turner spearheaded strategic partnerships with various educational organizations across Memphis, including the Gestalt Charter School System, MACE, and the Jesse Mann Daycare Center. These partnerships help the Boulevard fulfill its mission of offering quality education for children and youth. Furthermore, the Boulevard forged strategic partnerships and service to the Greater Memphis area, collaborating with institutions like the National Civil Rights Museum, Church Health, the Mid-South Food Bank, and the City of Memphis Youth Services. As the founder and president of the Black Clergy Collaborative of Memphis and a founding partner of the Memphis Christian Pastors Network, Pastor Turner and the Boulevard have taken the lead in organizing local congregations to advocate for equitable policy changes in policing, healthcare access, food justice, and educational reform in the greater Memphis area. The story of Mississippi Boulevard Christian Church is still being written, but with divine guidance, it proclaims that great things are still happening at the Boulevard. The legacy of Dr. Joseph Edison Walker and all those who have contributed to the church's growth and outreach stands as a testament to the power of faith, perseverance, and community. Yeah.